Welcome back everybody. I'm glad you could make it. Today we have another sponsored box. We're going to open this thing up, divide it six ways, open the packs and roll for the topper. We're going to see what we get. And so far all of these have been pretty nice. There's our topper. So let's do six packs a piece. That way we can keep everything fair and even. Halfway done already. One, two, three, four, five, six. here and ready thank you for putting up with all that now let's get to opening some packs let's move this out of the way so we can see the kind people that brought this to you today starting up here with William C let's get it started Foil Polywog and a Shark Typhoon. Not a bad first start. Kahira, the Orphan Guard. One of the better companions, I'd say. Horky Parrot. First showcase. Quartzwood Crasher. Mean looking lizard dinosaur beast. We always have to get a close up of that guy. Corpse turn. Likely aid. Just Cub Warden. He looks like he he's covered in butter. That's what that looks like. Fiend Artisan. I just said in our last video that we haven't seen him much, and here he makes another appearance. And he is definitely a nightmare. For sure. Last pack here for William. Dinosaur, Blossoming Sands, a Foil Stinger with a Classification. Just a random dolphin. All right, William, there you go. Moving on to Jason here. Cogla, right off the bat. Not too shabby. We'll read Cogla Leosaur. I was reading through the comments and I didn't realize this because the, the other two cards were red. But this is the uh, the same setup. You know, you got the, the little guy and you got his little buddy. And here he's in a he's in a bubble and he can't get to him. So and then I guess in the other ones, he's finally reunited and all that good stuff. 
Oh, I said we'd read Cogla. I got, I got distracted. Okay. Six mana. Three of them are green. When he enters the battlefield, it fights up one creature I don't control. Whenever Cogla attacks your Shiller Tog artifact or enchantment, defending player controls a colorless and a green return target human you control to its owner's hand. And he gains indestructible until in the turn. Not bad. A gust of wind. Crystalline giant. We haven't seen him in a little while. He seems like he is pretty for a common or an uncommon. This guy seems pretty good. He gets he's a three three for three and he gets two of those counters. Dirge Bat. Four mana. Three three flyer. Flash. When it mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Mutates for six. If you already have a mutate guy on the board and you stack that ability with it, look, he's back with it. The dino got out of the bubble. He's like, hey, buddy, I'm glad you're back. Guard Crag, Whirlwind of Thought. Convolute. What's the story behind these guys? And their crazy mask. Does anybody know? No table. Planes. Ooh, that's nice. Windscarred Crag. Mythos of Nethroi. Cavern Whisper. Does this Planes art kind of remind somebody of the, uh, or anybody else? I think it's an Onslaught Planes. No, Odyssey maybe? Odyssey. The art's kind of kind of reminiscent of that. Tokens. Forest. Showcase. Full art. Cub Warden. Shore Shark. That guy has the craziest mouth. Looks like you need some chapstick. This cub warden, this card in foil, just absolutely pops. I don't know if you've seen one of them yet. Well, Jason, we're going to move on to Joshua. Mountain. Ozolith right off the bat. Good hit. Glad to see it. This box was starting kind of slow. And if you're ever in one of these and it starts off kind of slow and you're not getting anything, don't worry because the cards are probably going to come to you with a little something extra in it. Just saying. Mythos of Broccoli and Cheese. Go for Blood. Love Luca. Companion, Caves, Cyclone, this seems like it could be, be kind of useful. You get to return two guys with total mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a death touch counter on either of them, put a menace counter on, on either of them. So you get a death touch and a menace counter and two weenies back in the play. 
I'm just trying to figure out what this art is. That's some some funky rats. Cavern Whisper, Creepy Nightmare. There's more backwater. Here's the Enclave. Let's go back to this enchantment here and read it. A green, a blue, and a colorless. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. If you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control. I really like it. You combine that card with what was the one out of Theros Beyond Death, a Hydra's Growth. Discard, or not discard, you exile it, but you know what I mean. There we go, Eerie Ultimatum. What's that? Is that a giraffe, or is that a horse? I see an elephant there. Look at that chunky guy. He is an absolute unit. Cookies, Cove, and another ultimatum. Not too bad. Creepy spider. Bulb keep. All right. Get over there. Moving on to Randall. Good luck to you, sir. Falls. Oh, very nice. That is a beautiful card. This is this is one of the cards that really does not look like a magic card. This could have been pulled out of a uh, a Pokemon pack for sure. That is gorgeous. With a Lava Brink. Starks. Heron. Good first pack. Good, good, good first pack. Soldier. Forest. And we have a Titan's Nest. Human Soldier, Swift Water Cliffs, and a Big Garuda. Big G showing up for us. Always glad to see that companion. So who thinks there's going to be some changes shortly after this set's street release date with all the companions? Maybe they're going to change the way it works in standard or, or any format for that matter. Showcase Trome. Well, Randall, you're doing good, my friend. Some of the best looking cards in the set. Especially if you can get a shiny one. Blossoming Sands, and a Vadrox. There we go. Yep, 
hit after hit after hit. Kitty cat. Dismal backwater. And a death oasis. How many people think cycling is going to be a thing again, too? There's quite a bit of it in the set. Here we go. Moving on to Jonathan J. Let me go ahead and put that over there. There we go. Soldier. Mountain. And Winota. There we go. Always glad to see her and her cat bear companions. I think that's what those are. Because those are two things that can definitely breed together, are cats and bears. Dinosaur, blood fell caves, and a slither wisp. He is an elemental nightmare. We haven't seen a planeswalker yet. There's a foil beast with a trial. There we go. And of course, we get our Karuga. Speaking of absolute unit chonky boys, King Thickness, here he is. Volpikeet. This guy in Limited, he's got a big butt on him. And you can put that hexproof counter. He's really, uh, he's went the distance for me a couple times. Especially if you start dropping some mutate on him. Don't underestimate him, just because he's a 3-6 for a lot of mana. Mythos of Snapdax. That art's just so cool. On all the Mythos cards. A dinosaur, we have a jungle hollow, and a foil mythic Vadrock Apex of Thunder. There we go. That means we're gonna have something behind it. Just a voracious great shark, but a foil mythic is nothing to sneeze at. We got the gore. All right, we ended that one on a high note. Jonathan, there you go. Brandon S. Soldier. Swamp. Ultimatum. Cloud Piercer. Human Soldier, Foil Basic Land. I feel like this will be one of the sought after Foil Basics. And a Lutri, cute little guy. This is a good uh, uncommon pack for sure. Island, 
hunted nightmare. There is a guy after him with a scythe. I guess that's why he's the hunted nightmare. Foil, not a bird swallow, just a por porky parrot. There we go, Sea Dasher Octopus, one of my favorite little guys. We got two more packs. Luca, Copper Coat, Outcast, Full Art. That is a good looking card. With a Dustfang Mentor. Even all the animals around them are, they're just taken back. They're like, what is this guy? And what is he on? I think I finally figured out what this guy ate. I think it's the rum ham. Last pack and we get to roll some dice. Song of Creation. Absolute beautiful art by Noah Bradley. Boneyard Lurker. With the song of creation, if you if you didn't look close, you you just a quick glance, you'd think that was some Therese art. Almost. Alright, we're done with the regular packs, but we still have this to go. So let's put it on a pedestal where it belongs. There we go. We have our six people. We got number one, number two, number three. Number four, number five, number six. We're going to roll this dice. I'm going to shake it up. Drop it. That's a two. So, Jason, you get the topper. I'm not going to mention any names. We're just going to open the topper and see who it is. Baby Godzilla! Heck yeah! He's my favorite little guy. So that's going over here to Jason. I appreciate you guys stopping by again. If you guys want to grab some Icoria for yourself, check out the Amazon links below. If you want to get in some of these breaks, it's uh, it's just in the Facebook group. Check it out. I'm going to start trying to run some more of these. That way there's more people have the opportunity to get in. You guys have yourself a good day.